Hey everybody and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have a special guest in the studio. This is Andrew from NVIDIA. How's it going, Andrew? I'm doing very well, Paul. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, and Andrew has brought along uh, a system here for a little demonstration. And what we're talking about today is the GeForce Experience. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with that, it is some software, to put it simply, mm -hmm. that NVIDIA has developed. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. So Andrew, could you give us uh, a better idea of what GeForce Experience actually is? Absolutely. Um, so, Paul, the GeForce Experience is a lightweight software application um, that we developed over a long period of time to allow you to experience your PC games in the best way possible. Um, depending on what type of PC gamer you are, from the high-end enthusiast down to the occasional casual laptop gamer, um, you want to get the best experience you possibly can out of your games. And with so many different hardware configurations possible on the PC, it makes that kind of complicated sometimes. Of course, that's one of the benefits of the PC is that there are so many options for hardware. But then again, if you don't want to wade through all the different settings to get the optimal solution for your games, this is an application that can help you with that. So uh, whereas with a lot of games, you might install them, load them up, and start playing, the mm -hmm. settings for that game might not be optional. In fact, most of the time, they're not. And you might not even, for instance, we have a 1080 monitor here behind us. Mm -hmm. It might not even immediately start playing at that resolution. No, and in fact, um, the out-of-the-box settings for games are usually pretty conservative mm -hmm. because they want to make sure that they're going to work at least on the computer depending on the hardware that you have. Mm -hmm. um, and so that being said, resolution is one of those common factors. Also, something that's really interesting is there's a lot of people that don't even know that they can change their graphic settings on their PC games. Mm -hmm. um, and that may seem crazy to some of the enthusiasts in the crowd, but it's definitely true. Um, and so this is an application that can help those people as well as the enthusiasts. So definitely folks uh, who might not be as technically inclined, they can load up this application, mm -hmm. get themselves some better uh, resolution, some better quality settings, uh, such as yep. anti-aliasing, uh, the other eye candy type features that can be enabled in games. Now, would you say this is going to be geared strictly towards folks who aren't comfortable setting up their computer in that way? Or would somebody, say, who plays a lot of games and knows what the settings are, could they actually also get some benefit from it? Well, that's, a, that's an excellent question because, um, you know, an enthusiast might think, well, why do I need this application? Of course, if you're a, you know, a gamer that is a casual gamer, you may not even know what type of hardware you have in your, in your PC or your laptop, and you just want to play at the best. You could go in, optimize your games, and go from there, easy peasy. Especially with a lower-end GPU, it really helps to find that sweet spot so you can actually play some of these new higher-end games. Mm -hmm. But alternatively, like you said on the enthusiast, let's say you load up Far Cry 3, brand new game, you have a high-end GPU, um, and you crank all the settings up, and all of a sudden you have a little bit of lower frame rate than you would have expected or that you wanted. Mm -hmm. And so you have to go in and start tweaking. 45 minutes later, of course it's part of the fun, but you spend 45 minutes tweaking your settings instead of playing the game. With the GeForce Experience, you can go in, instantly optimize, and have a baseline to edit those settings from there. So basically, it sets you up for a place for, for you to tweak your settings. So finding that kind of sweet spot between the default settings that the game loads with mm -hmm. and max settings, because not everyone can always play at max settings depending exactly. on your uh, hardware configuration. But it can save you a lot of time by basically finding that nice point in, in between where you can get a nice playable frame rate and also have as much of the eye candy enabled as possible. Exactly right. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about hardware compatibility. Um, which series of video cards will this uh, software work with? Well, uh, that's a great question as well. Um, GeForce 400 series and up. Okay. So um, anything in that range. And that also applies to mobile parts as well. Oh, okay. So if you have you know, a GeForce 460M, uh, this is a great product for you, as well as a 680. All right, Anything so from there. That's a, that's a pretty wide range of cards mm -hmm. uh, that have been released over the past several years by NVIDIA, uh, mm -hmm. all supported from that. Uh, so, Andrew, I understand this is uh, currently in open beta right now, but it's mm -hmm. been available for a little while. Uh, what sort of response have you gotten so far? Have there been um, many downloads for the software? Yeah, we've had, a, we've had a great response so far. We've had over 600,000 downloads of the client and a lot of really good user feedback. Okay, and uh, as far as software support, as far, uh, how many titles are currently available? We support 46 titles so far. Okay. Um, and of course, every month we're releasing new profiles for new games. And our goal is to have uh, day of launch support for new upcoming games and top titles that you'd expect. So. Now, when you guys are uh, in a, adding a new game uh, to the GeForce experience, like is, is that a pretty intense amount of work, or does it kind of vary from game to game? Well, it's a really intense process mm -hmm. uh, to add a game to the GeForce experience. Um, we have 
a lot of work that goes into it. Basically, we start with uh, an expert tester who goes through the game and looks at all the different settings and all the different levels, finds an area of the game that they can use to benchmark the game accurately, something that's not crazy demanding, that one area that tanks your performance, but also that's an average you know, performance hit of the game, so you can kind of baseline it there. Then we go and we look at all the thousands of hardware configurations and hundreds of thousands that you can imagine, and we use our GeForce Experience supercomputer to crunch all of those numbers and sort of figure out which settings work for different GPUs. And that's sort of the magic of GFE is that process right there. Awesome. So, yeah. uh, there's definitely a lot of work that goes involved, of course, and uh, being open beta right now. A lot of games already supported, but uh, more, mm -hmm. of course, on the way. But that said, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into our demonstration here. Right. And Andrew's going to show us what kind of a performance advantage we can get, or eye candy, I should say, <laughs> uh, from integrating the GeForce Experience. Let's check it out. All right, Andrew, so uh, as far as the test system that we have here, uh, let's talk about the hard hardware that we're working with. Uh, what's installed? Well, so this is a Z77 system, um, and it's running a 660 Ti. GPU. Okay, yeah. so uh, definitely a very popular configuration I'd imagine right now, especially if anyone's looking to build a new system. Z77 is the newest chipset from Intel. Mm -hmm. uh, also the uh, Ivy Bridge processors, which support PCI Express Gen 3. Exactly. And 660 Ti, which is a great middle-of-the-road card mm -hmm. with tons of performance. So, um, and, and I also I would say, not like the best of the best, super high-end, right. super expensive. Also, though, uh, not we're definitely not dealing with three or four year old hardware right, right. Now. okay not shabby by any means okay we'd like to think this is the sweet spot of gamers you know modern gamers oh or, yeah yeah and uh, 1080 monitor of course exactly um so we're looking at the geforce experience client here um and it's a, a lightweight client that runs in the background on your system uh, it can give you uh, automatic driver updates of course you can set it to not give you those updates if you don't want pop-ups okay um this is your games list. Basically what it does is it scans your machine for all the games that you have installed. Um, and a question that a lot of people have is, well, what if I install my games on a weird hard drive or in a mm -hmm. different location or whatever? Um, and the preferences here, you can specify where you want the client to look for your games. Okay. Um, lots of flexibility in the client as well. Um, I really like the driver updates feature because for me, I want to know the second a driver comes out with performance increases for my Me games. Too. You know, if you can get 27% in Far Cry 3 mm. just by updating your driver through the client, that's a huge benefit for our gamers. So that's something that I think is a really cool benefit of the application. Um, here in the games list, this is where you see all your games that are installed and all of their current and what we call our optimal settings. Um, so GFE basically sniffs out your hardware and says, okay, you have these capabilities, you have this GPU, this CPU, mm -hmm. this is what we think is the best settings for your games. Um, so for the demo, we're going to check out Call of Duty here, and if you look, the current settings are much lower than what we think is the optimal settings. Um, and this is the out-of-the-box settings, this is the exact settings that you get when you buy the game, download it, install it, and run it for the first time. Um, real quick, another really cool feature about this is um, Let's say you don't know what anti-aliasing is. If you highlight the feature that you're looking at, it will actually show you some of the, the information about that feature and show you an example with a screenshot in-game. Uh, depth of field, some, there's a lot of weird things like screen space, ambient occlusion. Mm -hmm. What is screen space, ambient occlusion? I, I only have a vague idea right now. Right, so GeForce is telling us that a shadowing technique that creates more realistic shadowing on curved objects and surfaces. Right. Objects. So, objects is close enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch the game, and we're going to look at what the out-of-the-box settings are. Okay. Um, and this is, again, what the, what the game thinks you're capable of playing with this current system. So as we can see here, you're looking at Call of Duty with basically all of the eye candy turned off. Um, as you can see, the texture resolution is extremely low. There's tons of aliasing everywhere, just jaggies for days. And uh, there's not really any, any of the features that you would expect from a high-end or even a middle ground PC setting. This is, this is kind of what I would expect if I loaded this game up on a console. Yeah, we're even worse than a console mm -hmm. sometimes. But yeah, this is a similar situation to what you would experience on a console. So you, you can just look at the image right here. This uh, you got these jagged edges. Anywhere there's a straight line, you get that kind of stair step thing going mm -hmm. on. Um, definitely nowhere near the amount of texture that I know is available in this game. So uh, if if we were to go ahead and uh, crank up the GeForce Experience settings. Yeah. So let's go ahead and quit out of the app, and now we're going to optimize. Okay. 
And uh, that's another really cool part about GFE is that when you click the optimize button, the client automatically finds the INI files, the config files. Sometimes they're really hard to find. They're buried. Mm -hmm. They're locked. You can't find them. Um, this automatically finds them and edits them immediately. So now all of our settings have been optimized and we're ready to launch the game. So uh -huh. let's go right back into the game here. So now we're back in the game and this feels a lot more like what a PC game should be yeah, like. Yeah, that's kind of night and day. You can see the smoothness uh, from a lot of the lines. You can see the added textures, uh, the depth. And um, we're still getting totally play. I mean, like I would say more than playable frame rates as far as that goes. Absolutely. Um, it's nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, you, you can you can shoot people way more easily now. Yeah, even my teammates. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, Sergeant Ace. And that's really the power of the GeForce experience is being able to take an unplayable or not that pretty situation and turn it into a very pretty playable situation with all the eye candy and all the graphic settings you would want. Now, with the initial setting here, you're probably getting some ridiculous frame rate, like two or three hundred frames per second. But mm -hmm. as far as your monitor's refresh rate and what your eye can actually see. The, 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 you're basically wasting a bunch of the graphics card's power by playing at a crazy high frame rate with all the settings turned down. Right. Um, whereas here, um, we're still getting an easily playable frame rate, and uh, it's just a much more immersive experience. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so, Andrew, just a couple more questions about GeForce Experience for you. Um, first off, if I'm a gamer, and let's say there's a certain type of eye candy that I am really fond of, and I want to optimize for that particular setting. So if I really like... FXAA, for example. Is there any way to sort of weight the, the different um, settings that the game might have um, to sort of optimize for one rather than the other? That's a, that's a really good question. Um, at the current state of the beta, we're only allowing one setting to be set uh, because of the complexity mm -hmm. that that would involve. Uh, that's, that's something that we're really trying to tackle and um, we're hoping to get a lot of feedback like that from the users of what they would like to have in the application like uh, being able to weight different settings or different resolutions, or mm -hmm. let's say you would, you would totally like to have all the eye candy, but you're willing to have a lower resolution, mm -hmm. or you really only want to have native resolution, whatever it takes to get there. Okay. So those are the types of things that we'd like to be able to do in the future, and we're actively looking at those types of things and hoping to add them into the client. And I think another thing I'd be uh, curious about, because uh, for instance, the monitor we have right here is a 3D monitor, it can do 120 hertz. Mm -hmm. uh, it's another thing that I think has been gaining some popularity is actually playing at really high frame rates with a really high refresh rate monitor. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another thing that I would, I would request. Absolutely, and I think that's a, that's a really good point is that um, things like 3D vision mm -hmm. and other technologies that affect frame rate in a huge way, and uh, especially 120 hertz monitors, mm -hmm. um, that's something that we, we don't have in the client just yet, but we're really looking forward to hearing that type of feedback from our users. Um, and really the best way to get that done is to go out and download this application and uh, file some feedback. There's a feedback button right um, on the main application there where you can type all your desires, your wish list, what you, what you don't like, what you do like, and uh, really we're hoping to get that kind of feedback so that we can make it as best as be, as good as it can be for our users. So, so you're stuff saying like that. that the open beta is not currently perfect? It's not okay. currently okay. perfect. Right. Well, but, uh, maybe a little bit more. So uh, <laughs> go ahead and download the application, guys. Give it a try. Uh, let the folks at NVIDIA, like Andrew here, know your thoughts. Uh, Andrew will be personally replying to each one, I would imagine. Every single one. Every yep. single one. Mm -hmm or at least doing as, as best he can. Now, Andrew's got a team that he will work with. <laughs> They're really looking for your feedback. So uh, if you guys have thoughts on this, if you have some ideas about what could make it better, um, areas of it that uh, you would like to focus on, uh, definitely let them know. And with that, I think it's going to wrap up this video. So uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Andrew for stopping by today. Thanks for having me. No Appreciate problem. It. And uh, if you guys would like to see more videos like this one, you can check them out on our new egg YouTube channel. Uh, if you'd like to download the GeForce Experience, we will post a link to it in this video's description. GeForce.com. Or go to GeForce.com. Mm -hmm. That's another option. Uh, that's all for this one. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time on New Egg TV.